Hi, good evening. This is Vishy from the School of Continuous Improvement. Uh, today, in this session, we will be studying uh, multivary charts. Multivary means multiple variables. Um, we want to uh, we want to simulate a situation where uh, operator tenure that is here and spare parts availability these are the two predictor variables if you want to call them that way um, and production capacity that is the response variable so we want to know if operator tenure and spare parts availability have act, have actually some kind of an impact on production capacity we have many tools that will help us uh, do this analysis and of course you can increase the scope of variables the predictor variables you could maybe have four or five variables uh, that's besides the point there are some critical observations that you need to make here number one the type of data that you see here is categorical data it's not quantitative data at least for the, pre the predictor variables you see here operator tenure is categorical variable that means you call them either experienced or new and spare parts availability is either yes or no and of course you have the production capacity this is the situation as you can see the project team wants to study if the type of employees experienced or new here and spare parts availability impacts production capacity of the machine and like i told you before we are going to be studying the graphical evidence first so this session is all about studying the graphical evidence and not, in, not, get, uh, not get too much into statistical analysis. Very good. So like I said, there are many tools. One of the best tools that I would like to use here is called uh, the main plots and the interaction plots. So you click on stat, ANOVA, and main effects plot. Okay. So I already have the variables out here, which is production capacity and uh, operator tenure which is uh, and spare parts avail uh, availability and i would be clicking on ok fine so i've got a graph here and i will study this graph um, let me go ahead and generate the interaction plot so i'm going to click on stat again that's ANOVA and that's uh, interactions plot and again i've i have uh, the two factors here um, and that's my response variable so i'm going to click on Okay, so I, I, uh, I have my uh, interaction plot as well. Very good. Um, so let's read this first graph, main effects plot. Now, what do you mean by main effects plot? So main effects mean the individual variable effect of uh, the variables, the predictor variables here on production capacity. Uh, as we can see here, the operator tenure uh, ranges between about 159 um, yeah, 158.5 to about uh, 163. So that's the range. Um, whether this is significant or not, that we cannot comment at this point of time because we are not uh, doing a statistical analysis. And if you see here, uh, whoops, that's that's a big difference. Um, if the spare parts are not available, you see no. Uh, we've got um, a mean of 145 and uh, if the spare parts are available then we've got a mean of about 176 so obviously that's that's a big difference 176 kilograms so that's 31 kilograms that's a huge difference again we don't know if this is statistically significant or not okay um then we come down to the interaction plot now this is uh, this is interesting interaction means the two variables which is operator tenure and spare parts availability interact with each other and provide a resultant effect on production capacity so as you can see here if the spare parts are not available then whether it is experienced or whether it is uh, mid-range or whether it's a new tenured employee all of them have considerably lower um, production capacities so that's that's the key point and again here you see when all of them uh, when spare parts are available um, then all the three provide a very high production capacity number. So obviously there is an evidence of interaction graphically. Um, there is an evidence of main effect graphically. We need to prove these main effects and interaction effects statistically. In my next session, I'm going to show you how we will prove uh, the effects, main effects and interaction effects statistically with the help of uh, a tool called as ANOVA. Thank you. Uh, that's it for this session. And if you have any questions, you can write into vishi at the rate school of CI.org.